Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 325. Take care of each character from left and right. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. I struggled a lot with this one due to off by ones, and this is a one that you have to be really, really careful about. But all in all, this is just sliding window. Um, basically, it's kind of a hard sliding window to visualize, or at least harder than your normal sliding windows, because in, the, in a way, this is almost like an inverse sliding window, right? Your sliding window is the stuff that you're removing and the things that you want to keep are the left from the left side or the right side, and you just try to do it that way. Um, and I had a lot of off by ones, so I struggled a lot, and I, yeah, I had just two wrong answers due to that. But basically, I'm gonna go over the algorithm, which is that okay, so you first you look at you keep a calendar of every A, B, and C, um, you know, and this is just the default case of okay, if we take the entire string, can we have an answer, right? Pretty basic, uh, otherwise, you do a negative one. Um, probably could have done an else here, so, or else return negative one here as well, because otherwise there's always a way. Um, otherwise, then you now move the bound, right? As you move the bound, um, keeping in mind that you want to keep everything to the um, to the right and to the left of the bounds, right? So, for example, what I mean by that, I'm going to ask you all this. Um, yeah, so basically, let's say you have something like this, and then if you have a right pointer here and a left pointer uh, let's just put right pointer here and then a left pointer here, right? That means that you are, you're keeping track of stuff that's in here and here and then minus everything in, in between, right? So that's basically the way that I, I would visualize it. And here, and as with most sliding window problems, um, the key part about solving this is... Um, a key part about solving this for, for these kind of problems is by um, coming up with an uh, invariant. And what do I mean by that? It means that's something that you want to hold true for every loop. And here, the, the thing that we want to hold true is that, um, is that we still have... Um, Yeah, one thing that we want to hold true is that at the end, we still have um, no, the number of A's and the number of B's and the number of C's are still the same, or greater than or equal to K. Sorry, I got a little bit confused about how I wanted to explain this. But yeah, and basically by using this while statement at the end of this, it is true that we have She's, you know, this is going to be true. And we know that this is true because we know that in the worst case, left is equal, going to be equal to right. And then that means that you have nothing, you're deleting nothing. And then that's going to have this because otherwise this is, you know, this is the case here, right? So yeah, so that's basically it. And then as we move right, we subtract it as we do. And then as we move to left, we want to add it back into the things that we count. And that's basically it. Um, this is going to be linear time, constant space. I know it doesn't look like constant space, but this counter thing only contains three things, A, B, and C. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, like I said, linear time, uh, constant space, and uh, really easy to get uh really easy to get wrong a lot as you saw I, I took so long on this one you could watch me live and kind of see where my mistakes were um some of my mistakes was just that i i had this count before this so it was like missing one case um and that was actually both situations to be honest um and once i removed uh, once i fixed it um it was good again um yeah that's all i have for this one so let me know what you think um I know that this is a, let me just be clear, very clear, and yeah, maybe a lot of people have gotten it finally, um, because we're an hour into the contest. Let me make this a great. This is a kind of really hard problem. I, I, in fact, Q3 was easier than it for me. Um, and yeah, so don't feel that bad if you want, you know, some company in, in uh, whatever. But it is something that I think everyone should be good for interviews. Um, this is a harder variation of the sliding window that you will need to know for interviews but yeah that said i don't know <laughs> maybe interviews are getting harder so yeah that's all i have with this one let me know what you think and you could watch me struggle 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 during the contest now
<laughs> I forgot. But I, uh, really silly mistake trying to be a little bit faster. I just need to kind of reset myself. Okay. ABC, non negative K each minute, leftmost or rightmost. Okay. Minimum at least K of each character. Okay. Hmm. 10 to the fifth, so is it DP? I don't know. No, it's just. Um, I mean, it, it's prefix sum, but I'm trying to figure out what, what's the cleanest way to do it. Uh, eight is the minimum, okay. Because we can take. How do I do it? I still can't believe I got Q1 right. Well, I knew what I was doing. I've confused myself. Two of each one? Okay, fine. I'm a little bit tilted, but. Uh, minimum, so okay, fine. Basically, if we've taken everything to the right, so yeah, okay. So we have everything to the right. Maybe I just do this. I don't know if this is better, to be honest. Eh, maybe not. What am I doing? Um, okay. And now we process this one. Basically, the right contains everything. Okay. So while counter sub equals C, C is equal to so A is greater than equal to K and C. So while this is happening. Press is equal to min of right minus left and then n minus that. I think. And then we. Move left over. And we move left over by doing C of left subtract by one. And if left is equal to right, or uh, my, my bounds, what am I doing about my bounds? Mm. I'm not doing the things to see that right. Um, it's not we're taking it out. C of S sub right. Um, here we actually, when we move left, we. Mm. <clears throat> okay, then we subtract this. And then while while this is happening, we're moving right, and we do it by subtracting this thing from it, and then. Uh, 
and then not this. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Wait, what? I was still judging. Oh, I have an infinite loop somewhere, probably. I need to do this first. Hmm. I am really bad today, tonight. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah. Um, we should make that an infinity thing. But eleven and one. Okay, that's not great. But I need this. Then I remove it and then Man, I'm just really not thinking right. This is a I'll probably do a binary search as well, but yeah. Is it ten? So oh maybe my left and right is confused. I put everything in it now. So right being said you remove it, so then you have everything, right? So that looks good. And then while this is not true, we don't remove left. Du -du 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 -du. Oh man, I corrected this in the other place, but I forgot it here. That's why. Don't even know how I get an answer for this one. Okay, there we go. Um, is this right though? Um, okay. I mean, it looks right for this input. So let's give it submit. Ah, uh, oh. I didn't check for zero. Are you serious? Uh, this is silly. I, I'm just missing a lot of uh, silliness in general. I didn't think about that one. I didn't look at the inputs. Usually they don't put like these weird inputs on it, but but I guess these days they do. Uh, okay, I mean, that's a real one. Wow, I am just getting destroyed today. Uh, three, that went off by one. So do, get rid of the A. Hmm. Hmm. I am sloppy. Okay, so this is zero zero. Right? So by default it has five, which is true. Uh it has one two. So that's four, that's also true. Because left is inclusive. Wait no. Wait, what? Did I mess up? It's still wrong. Oh no no, this is the first one, but it's still wrong though, so no, I thought this was right. Oh wait a <sighs> this is just one of those days. But why is this so basically mm, this puts it back in, okay. Just I needed this. Okay. 
it's still long though. Plus one one, okay, fine. Fifty percent represents no 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 bounds, okay, that's fair. Two one is good. And then the three. So one, two, am I doing it the wrong way? Maybe I'm doing the wrong way. One, two, no, you need this one. So three, you need one left and then, but then right, and then four, right? Four, we're good, but we need a five, is that right, right? Man, this is, there was a weird off by one somewhere. I am just struggling today. It's gonna be a disaster because this is never just doing a ACP. I mean, this is just really weird. Three, three, four, three. Well, three, three means having nothing. So two. So one, two means this number gone. This one means that. Okay, but three, four, okay. But you need to be. Um, I need like one more thing, but then like this is going to be just long. If I just needed this. <coughs> Yeah, this is this plus one because you have an extra one. Maybe I just did the math wrong on that one. Uh, I think this is more right, but it's still. Uh, I think I just needed this to go, uh, kick off to be the first one, and then I just kind of messed it up here. Uh, wow. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest or this problem. Um, I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.